Let's look at another physical equilibrium, the solid gas sublimation equilibrium for iodine. I've written the reaction here, iodine solid going to iodine gas. The question I have is, what happens when I add more iodine solid to this equilibrium? What happens to the intensity of the I2 gas? Does it increase, stay the same, or decrease? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, more solid will create more gas so the color gets darker. B, the solid does not appear in the mass action expression so K and the vapor pressure don't change. Or C, solid will give more surface to the vapor and it will condense so the color decreases. Think about those three possible explanations and make a selection. We're talking about the sublimation of iodine, going from the solid to the gas. And we have that happening right here in front of us. Iodine solid going to iodine gas molecules, and at the same time, iodine gas condensing to form iodine solid. So an equilibrium that's dynamic, but from a macroscopic sense, it appears static. Let's look at the equilibrium expression. If we write products over reactants for this, we would have the partial pressure of the I2 gas. I2 solid, that's a pure solid. And pure liquids and solids don't appear in our equilibrium expressions. So it's just K is the partial pressure of I2. At equilibrium, that's the vapor pressure of iodine gas over the solid. So if I have no solid appearing in the vapor expression, then this equilibrium constant is independent of the solid. If it's independent of the solid, then as I add solid, I shouldn't expect this equilibrium to change. Doesn't appear in the equilibrium expression, the solid, so the solid doesn't affect the equilibrium expression. Let's actually see if that happens. What I have here is the solid and vapor in equilibrium, and I think you can see the solid and vapor in equilibrium, the pale vapor color of the iodine vapor. What I'm going to do is add a little solid iodine and see if that changes. Solid iodine. And we'll add a significant amount so it's clear we've added some. Cap that back off. We'll give this a, some time, but let's look at the equilibrium vapor pressure. Now we know the equilibrium vapor pressure doesn't change. It's a function only of temperature. The equilibrium constant is a function only of the vapor pressure. So we don't expect to see any change. And indeed, adding more solid doesn't change this equilibrium position. Now that might seem counterintuitive at first. You put more solid, how come that doesn't produce more vapor? Well, I did put more solid and initially some more vapor will go into the uh, gas atmosphere here, but at the same time, I've added that more solid. That gives more surface area for the vapor that's there to condense back on the solid. So I don't change the position of the equilibrium. So the correct answer here is B, the equilibrium is independent of the amount of solid.